Good morning all. So in this uh, professional ethics in, uh, lecture series for unit 3, the topic that I am going to take here is engineering as a social experimentation. So before we move on to the topic, I will introduce myself like I am Logeshwari from CS department working as an assistant professor in RMD Engineering College. So let's me move on to the topic. So engineering as a social experimentation. So these are all the core contents in this third unit as engineering as an experimentation as an responsible experimenters code of ethics and balanced outlook on law. So basically what is meant by experimentation? Experimentation is that uh, that we are if we are going to invent something we are going to test it now. So whether it could be a positive way or it could be a negative way whatever it is we are trying to do something that is said to be that uh, when we are whenever we are trying to do a new things that is considered to be an experimentation. So here engineering is also considered to an experimentation like it will have different phases as we have studied in the waterfall model in the software engineering. Like first we go with the design phase and then we, next we go with the physical test or simulation. Next we go with the prototype. Prototype means it will create a model. So once the model we have completed, so you can automatically that uh, final design will be there. So here you can see it is already feedback. So if there is any problem in this um, fabrication or testing and simulation, automatically it will feed back to the previous step and then once again new design will be created. As well as here also the prototype, the model or the prototype is incorrect automatically it will fit up to the previous session so why uh, uh, their uh, core values will be get uh, design uh, modified so once we have approved we will get the final design and then during the manufacturing time also if there is any problem we can do the uh, rework on that time so finally go with the field study field study means it is a market market search so once we introduce the product if there is any problems or flaws in the product automatically and then the feedback will be going to the design phase so these are all the things which we done during the model so each and every step is also considered to be an experimentation so that is given here as before manufacturing a product or providing a project we make several assumptions and drivers design redesign several times till the product is observed to be functioning satisfactorily so we will be getting we will be undergone different steps that is given in this slide so uh, i have said uh, earlier in earlier uh, slide itself so the best example is the waterfall model which can, which we all which we all um, referred in the in the earlier earlier um, semesters so in the software engineering so basically the first step in the waterfall model is the requirements collection second one is the architecture that is the design and then next we go for coding once the coding has been done uh, next we have to implement the project so once the testing is done successfully finally we have to do the maintenance maintenance means if there is any problem minor problems in the system or the product we have to do it so that is said to be the uh, uh, thing so here you can consider it as an engineering and then experimentation as an comparison chart so engineering is objective is to solve the problems which have often involves unknowns uncertain outcome monitor learn from the past experiments so based upon these uh, steps these uh, uh, lines we are going to do the engineering what about experimentation objective to find a new knowledge or answers which solves an unknown uncertain outcome and then test its hypothesis draw the conclusion and verify the hypothesis it is an informed concern but in the case of engineering is an uninformed concern of the subjects try to control all the variables it is a controlled experiment so engineering projects versus standard experiments so what are the similarities are there so the similarities are we have to partially ignore so partial ignorance means if it's not possible to start the project uh, uh, so project when they all the projects are there, when all the materials are available it is not possible whatever the things that we have right now we have to start the project later on we can visit later uncertainty we couldn't able to find out the outcomes because the final outcomes of the projects are very uncertain so sometimes unintended results will be there so we have to do the continuous monitoring not from uh, it could be from uh, not from the final phase start not in the final phase we have to start from the first phase middle phase at the end phase also monitoring continually the progress and gaining new knowledge are needed and then we have to 
we have to learn from the past learning from the past if there is any problem from the same product means we have to keep in mind that and then we have to try to eradicate the problem so that is here they have given an example as titanic steamship arctic so the problem in the titanic the, the concept that we have learned from the titanic accident is that lack of lack, lack of life boats so what are the contrast contrast are experimental control human touch informed consent and the so experimental control means A, if we are, if we are selecting group A and group B, so we are go, going with the group A with a special treatment and group B is an, with no treatment is a control group. So in this way we can go with that and then human touch is that this point is not agreed by the many of the engineers because it involves human needs and expectations. So these are all the um, topics that we have discussed for engineering and experimentation.